there's something magnetic about this one. I'm drawn in for sure, but I think it might be too much to handle. Cute, but looks kind of gassy. I'm really not into that. Ugh, geez, there's literally nothing going on here. So dull. So boring. I don't know what I was thinking with this stupid dating site. I'm never gonna find anything on here. Whoa, whoa, whoa wait. That's what I'm talking about. It's perfect. Look at those curves. I don't think I've seen anything like this in the entire universe. Wait, is something moving down there? Hmm. Profile says it's complicated. Maybe I should just zoom in a little closer and check it out. I don't understand. I've been to hundreds of planets. And I've never seen anything like this before. How did it get like this? You sure you want to go down that wormhole? Yes, I've got to know more. Well, hold on to your spacesuits. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. In the beginning. Out of nothing, an entire universe appeared. Swirling masses of gas coalesced into clouds, giving way to stars, planets, and entire galaxies. And in one galaxy, far, far away, one planet stood out amongst the rest. It sat with just the right tilt, had just the right spin, and revolved around a brilliant star in just the right location. Not too close to melt, not too far to freeze. But Earth was a wild one in its younger days, just floating around space, popping volcanoes off like it had nothing better to do. Definitely not ready to support life of its own. But after billions of years in orbit, Earth finally began to settle down. As molten magma cooled into rock, vapor condensed into water, giving rise to the great mountains, rivers, and oceans. Over time, exposed to the elements, rocks broke down into smaller and smaller pieces until they were no longer recognizable as rock but soil, sands, silts, and clays. Particles small enough that nutrients within them dissolved into the surrounding water, allowing life to crawl its way out of the primordial ooze. And from that point on, Earth would never be the same. Microscopic organisms combined carbon and nitrogen from the atmosphere, hydrogen and oxygen from water, and minerals from rocks to form the very building blocks of life. As organic materials built up, they combined with minerals to form arguably the first true soils. It was the OG recycling system. Birth, growth, death, and decay. Not a thing ever wasted. Over time, soils grew deeper and deeper, developing horizons, layer after layer of unique colors, textures, and structures, providing important services to life both above and below ground. Earth was finally able to provide a solid foundation for human life, and soils were the perfect partner. They put food on the table, shared the clothes off their backs, and always kept a roof overhead. They provided clean air to breathe and water to drink, nursed them back to health when they were sick, and always found ways to make them laugh, dance, and thrive. And the more that the sturdy roots of soil supported them, the more the human race began to thrive. Populations boomed, cities sprawled, people moved away from the land. As they did, they began to ask more and more of the soil, providing less and less in return. Wait, seriously? 
I would never treat her like that. She's one of a kind. Hey, if man's not doing the job, maybe I'll just go Hello? down there and... Slow your jetpacks, kid. Story's not over yet. It's true. Things got quite bad for a while. But then, something happened. They shifted their gaze from the brilliant stars above to the humble ground below. From looking up through telescopes to looking down into microscopes. And what they saw changed everything. The soil beneath them was alive, a diverse, complex web of networks and communities working tirelessly together. And they began to mimic what they saw, tapping into their own social networks to communicate and share resources, to set aside their differences and come together on common ground, setting in motion a new era on Earth, where man was a constructive rather than a destructive force, a part of nature, not apart from nature. They rolled up their sleeves, dug in, and got their hands dirty in their own backyards, city parks, and community lots, reconnecting to their food, the land, and each other. All right, guess this planet's in good hands. Ugh, the good ones are always taken.